Making a journal is about having fun, which means simple and easy decorating techniques. Sometimes I like to try something new. So in this video I'm decorating this journal using watercolour paints. I'm using brush pens and liners to paint a lavender plant, all in clear and easy steps so that you can do it too. And if you think that playing with paper is fun, if art and junk journals are your passion in life, then hit the subscribe button and ring the little notification bell because I have so many more videos and ideas to share. To draw and paint the lavender plant here, I'm using two types of pen today. I'm using the Arteza Real Brush Pen and also Arteza's Inconic Pens. And I should say this video is not sponsored, but Arteza have kindly just sent me these pens to play with knowing that I like playing with watercolour in my journals, and I think some of you do too. I start by drawing the pot in a shade of terracotta, and I add some stalks for the lavender using this flicking motion. I use one of the brush pens for the flower itself, and I'm just dotting and dabbing gently here to create the flower effect. The brush itself is fairly soft, so I'm just doing some light dabbing. And this shade is called Wisteria Purple, which feels about right for lavender. And I'm just adding some texture and depth here by dabbing with a slightly darker shade of purpley blue. Flowers are rarely one single colour, so I thought that this would just give a little bit of reality. And as you can see, I've still left quite a lot of white space on the paper there. And here I'm adding a little bit of greenery above the rim of the pot. And I'm just dabbing gently again. And I'm just smooshing with my water brush to blend it all together a little bit. And topping up with a little bit more of that green. And now I want to colour in the pot and I want to do it in a way that looks as though the pot is rounded, so I start by adding some water to the paper. I'm using the brush pen in the shade Orange Rust and I'm just flicking from the edge to the centre. And then I blend what I've done with my water brush. And just doing the same again on the right hand side, flicking from the right to the left. And blending and I'm just filling in the rim of the pot in a similar way. I'm using a couple of shades of grey just to give a sense that the pot is actually sitting on something. And just stealing the tiniest amount of terracotta to blend into the grey. I find that the brushes blend quite well but it's better to put water on the paper first. And I'm just going back and adding a little bit more definition to the pot, just to make it clearer. And it really is that easy. So this is going to be a journaling card in the journal, so I'm just rounding the corners. And here I'm adding some faux stitching in a complementary brown shade. And as we're approaching the month of June, which is the month when Wimbledon tennis kicks off here in England, I thought I'd choose a rather famous quote or poem from Rudyard Kipling. I've just chosen the last verse for the card here. It's the one that begins, if you can keep your head, when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. Which I believe is written on the tunnel that the players come through when they emerge onto Centre Court at Wimbledon. And the last verse reads, if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it, and which is more, you'll be a man, my son. and finishing it off with a dot and a dash type border. It would be great to know if you use watercolour paints in your journals. Drop me a comment down below and, and share what you're using at the moment in your decoration. 
I'm trying to use my junk journals a little bit more to get more organized. So here I'm just creating a calendar on a single piece of paper that will go in the pocket at the front of the journal. I've added a teeny tiny pot of lavender at the top here. And I've just drawn out a grid that I'm going to fill in with the dates for June. I thought if I tucked this in a pocket at the front of the journal, it might just help me use the journal more and maybe be a little bit more organised. And I would really like to know if you use your journals to help you be more productive and organised as well. Is that something that you're using your junk journals for or do you keep them just for more of an arty crafty purpose? So here I'm gluing the poem that we wrote out onto the inside front cover just to make a little pocket. And I can see at this stage that choosing green to write in is just a little bit more gentle than using black sometimes. And here's the journaling card that we made. I'm adding a few more decorative items to this journal and if you want to actually see the journal being put together then I do have a video on that a couple of weeks ago. I will put a link in the description box down below. And I want to say a really big thank you to those of you who've been sending me some of these supplies. So thank you Esh, Annette and Christy. I'm going to use them now in this journal to decorate it. I'm just choosing a few little pieces that go with the botanical and the lavender theme. That go with those colours of purple and terracotta. That shade of lilac paper on the left is beautiful, but it's crying out for some decoration like this. Just using a glue stick to stick it down. And I'm intentionally letting it just hang over the edges a little bit. This is an amazing mandala tag from Christy Bittleston. Do check out her channel. I'm just rubbing it because it's got raised little dots on it. Really pretty. I have this pocket with a sewn border. Very colourful and incredibly pretty. And I don't want to cover up either of the sides so that will go in as a tip in. Just choosing exactly where to put it. It needs washi tape on both sides just to keep it secure. Just popping those tags back in their place in that pocket. I coloured this tag with paint sticks and I have to say I don't really know how I'm meant to use them so if any of you know how to use paint sticks please do drop me a comment down below. And here I'm just adding a few other of the lavender pot journaling cards that I've been making. If you're interested in either of the sets of pens then I have put a link to the Arteza site down below and there's also a promotion code which will give you 10% off until the 30th of June. If you do use the link in the description box then I will be paid a small percentage but it won't cost you any more. I hope you've enjoyed this process for making and decorating this little junk journal. If you have then hit the subscribe button and ring the little notification bell and come back next week when we'll do a little bit more painting and decorating of junk journals.